Welcome back to JNS Daily Drives, everyone. Today we're going to be taking an in-depth look on this 2013 Porsche Cayenne GTS. In today's video, we're going to go over the exterior as well as the interior, go over some engine data and talk about the overall specifications of this car. Now I'd like to start with the exterior of the car, where as you can see, the GTS is unlike most other Porsche Cayennes. Obviously this car fits in between the Cayenne S and the Cayenne Turbo, but the Cayenne GTS gets a unique design unlike any other. Now let's start at the front here. So on the GTS and the Turbo models, you have this massive grill down here to help with cooling with the radiators. Unlike in the Cayenne S and the base Cayenne, it's much smaller, but in this it's much more aggressive looking. Now we move to the left and to the right of the giant grill. We're greeted by these nice kind of air blades here along with the daytime running lights here. Now in most Cayennes, this is actually an air vent here, but due to the fact that this one is so large, these ones have actually been covered up so that it doesn't really do anything. It's just more for an aesthetic look. Now, if we move further down, we're greeted by the nice fog lamps here integrated within the lower bumper, as well as this nice protrusion here, kind of acting as a bit of a splitter down below there. Now on the Cayenne GTS, unlike the Cayenne S and the base Cayenne, everything is either painted to match or in some cases it's black accent on a white car. Now in this vehicle, for example, we have the nice black painted look around the wheel wells there as well as the lower side skirts down there, which we'll talk about in just a second. Let's talk about the wheels here for a second. So these are wearing the nice looking Porsche Cayenne turbo wheels from the previous generation. They're 20 inches, they look very meaty and I like the design on them. They kind of bladed, looks very good. Also, underneath here we have these beautiful red six piston brake calipers, really gives it that nice look. Very sporty too. Now let's move on to the direct side of the car. Now on the normal Cayennes, this is where the side of the car stops, right at the bottom of here. But as you can see on the GTS model, we have this nice painted black side skirt that makes it look much, much lower. It gives it a much better profile, looks amazing. In my opinion, it's one of the best looking SUVs that you can buy. Now one thing that the Cayenne GTS has is much wider wheel arches. Looks very good from a side profile, also looks much meatier from you know a three quarter view as well. Obviously we have the nice wheels back here. Now moving back, Another cool thing about the you know, aero package on the Cayenne GTS is the nice fin down here where it's generally just rounded on every other model. We'll get to the back in a second, but I wanna quickly go over this gorgeous roof spoiler. Now on every other Cayenne apart from the Cayenne Turbo S, it is a normal, just flat plane roof spoiler. But on the GTS, it has this nice two level decking. It looks extremely, extremely sporty, very aggressive, very kind of looks very sports car looking. I really like that design that they threw in there. Now we move on to the back of the GTS, which is in my opinion, the best part of the car. Now, obviously we talked about the roof spoiler there, but one thing that the Cayenne GTS has that the S doesn't is these massive quad tips. Abs they're absolutely gigantic. They look super good, especially when they're in black, matching with everything back here. Now, another thing about the pack of the Cayenne GTS is that on most Cayennes, this little strip right here, I don't know if you can see it very well, I'll show you that in a second, it's actually painted in silver on most of the other cars, but on the GTS, like everything else, it's painted to match. It looks much, much better, especially with it painted in that color. Another thing that the Cayenne GTS gets is a nice tint on the taillights here. It looks much better, especially when it's got that smoked look. It goes well with the rest of the car, especially considering that it's all blacked out. Now that we're at the back of the GTS, let's talk about cargo area. Now located right here is gonna be the cargo area with the seats folded normally. Now right here, if you pan the camera this way, is gonna be where the cargo area is with the seats folded down. Now I wanna do a bit of a practical test. We're gonna do a trunk test 
to see if I fit in it. Let's do that. Now, like most SUVs, it's very spacious back here. I could easily fit another two or three more of me. And then if you put the nice cargo cover, it makes it nice and private back here as well. Now we move on to the other side of the car, where I'm gonna show you a quick glimpse on the interior of the rear as well as the front. Now, obviously, on the rear, it's very spacious back there, plenty of room. We have the nice uh, sun visors that are automatic with the touch of the window switch there as well. Obviously, the Cayenne GTS plaque located down below there. We also have the four-way climate control, which I'll talk about a little later on in the video. Now, if we move to the front of the car, we'll just take a quick glimpse at the front of the car. Now, obviously, we have the same Cayenne GTS skid plates there. Now, this car has the nice GT Sport steering wheel, as well as a bunch of other goodies, which we'll go over a little bit later as well. Now that we've talked about the exterior a little bit, let's go ahead and talk about the engine. Now that is a 4.8 liter V8, producing 420 horsepower and 380 pound-feet of torque. Let's go get a look at that engine, shall we? Now here it is, the 4.8 liter V8. I think this is one of my favorite engines ever fitted to a vehicle. Just take a look at it. Now, let's hear how it sounds. Now that we've heard how the engine sounds, let's go to the back and get a nice valved exhaust clip. Now that we've gone over the exterior, talked about the engine a little bit, got a nice exhaust clip, let's go for a drive. So now that we're driving the Porsche Cayenne GTS, let's talk about the engine a little bit more. So this engine produces, like I said, 420 horsepower and 380 pound-feet of torque. Now that fits right in between the Cayenne S and the Cayenne Turbo. Now obviously, you also have the Cayenne diesel, which produces a little bit more torque, but not quite as much power. But in terms of the way the engine feels, it is so smooth and so powerful. You know, even when I'm just driving along. So I'm just driving along right now in normal mode, and it's not very loud, it's nice and quiet, it's very smooth, it shifts seamlessly through the gears with that eight speed that I'll touch on a little bit later. But if I throw it into sport mode, throw it into manual mode, drop a gear, It's quick, it's very, very quick. For an SUV, with that 4.8 liter V8, it just flies and it feels so good when you're doing it too. And you got that instant power. You know, I'm in fourth gear doing about 80 kilometers an hour and I've still got instant power. It's awesome because it's naturally aspirated. You have that instant power all the time. No waiting for turbos to spool up or anything like that. Now let's talk a little bit about that transmission that that engine is mated to. Now it is an 8-speed automatic Tiptronic S transmission. Now obviously it's an automatic, so you can leave it in automatic or you can throw it into manual mode and use the shift knob here or use on this beautiful GT Sport steering wheel these nice paddles here. The actuation feels great. It's very responsive. The overall feel of the transmission, it is the perfect transmission for this engine. It shifts so nice and so quick that you don't even feel it, even when you're driving a little bit harder. It's one thing I like about this. Now, obviously, if you drive really hard, you are gonna feel those shifts a little bit and it has a nice pop when you shift. Sounds really good. But if I throw it back into automatic mode and I'll put it back into normal mode, it's just so smooth the way this transmission you know, shifts through the gears. It just kind of climbs. The next thing you know, you're in eighth gear cruising. And it just, it all does that, especially when you're not in sport mode, it does that to help improve fuel economy. Obviously, if you're in a lower gear at a higher RPM, you're gonna be burning more fuel. And this is a thirsty car, it's got a 4.8 liter V8. That being said, however, it does pretty good, especially when you're not in sport mode. Now let's talk about the Cayenne GTS's way of going about corners. Now, obviously this car is, has a much better design to it for track use. You know, obviously you're not gonna be using this car on a track very much, but when it comes around corners, this car is phenomenal. 
It is the best handling SUV I have ever driven. I'm gonna leave it in manual mode. I got some twisty corners coming up, going quite quickly through these, and there's such little body roll considering that this is a big SUV. You know, you do not feel these corners at all. Just hugs the, oh, it feels so good. Just holding it in that gear, you're coming around this corner, you don't even feel it, then as soon as you're out, and you're on to the next corner just like that because you have all that power. But this car's ability to change directions is absolutely amazing. How can they do this? How can they make a car handle so well that's so big? It's just amazing. Obviously, if you put it into its highest ride height setting, it's not going to be great going around corners. But that's like most things. The higher it is, the worse it's going to be going around corners. So if you put it into sport mode, obviously it lowers the car down to its lowest setting that you can drive in and it just hunkers down. It gets ready because it knows that you're gonna do something that it can do just so freaking well. It's unbelievable how well this car handles. Now that we're on the topic of the Porsche Active Suspension Management, let's talk about the overall comfort of this car. Now, as I said before, we're gonna stick to the overall suspension components. So right now, I'm in the sport stiffness, which means I feel a lot more of the bumps. Obviously, I'm gonna feel you know these little bumps that you otherwise wouldn't feel in larger SUVs. If I move it into normal mode, that'll change the dampers, loosen them up a little bit. I feel them even less, it's much more comfortable. And there's even a third option, it's called comfort right on top there. I'm gonna push comfort and see how that feels, especially when we're going around right here. Now, I can tell you straight away that there is more body roll. That being said, however, it's much more comfortable. It's very plush when you're in comfort mode. The suspension kind of just soaks them up nice and easily. Now in terms of overall interior quality, this car is top notch. It's nothing less than you would expect from an extremely expensive SUV, obviously over $100,000 brand new. Now we have this nice kind of satin finished aluminum here. We have leather everywhere, it feels very good. Nice leather, the black leather here. Also, I love the Alcantara roof. It feels great, it looks great. Also, we have this massive panoramic sunroof that comes with the Premium Plus package. Now, what do you get with the Premium Plus package? Obviously, you get the Bose sound system, which I can't really show you guys. However, it has the nice panoramic sunroof, as well as the automatic sunshades back there that I've shown you. Honestly, it's a very nice place to sit in here, very luxurious, as well as sporty. Now, from personal experience, I've driven a Porsche Cayenne since January. It is the diesel model. You know, it's a little bit slower. It has a bit more torque than this car. That being said, however, when you're just kind of driving normally, it feels the exact same. Incredibly easy to drive. You know, you get into a Porsche, especially the Cayennes, and you have all of these buttons, and everybody's like, oh my God, look at all these buttons. It's crazy. It's not that hard to figure out. Honestly, up here you have all of the climate control buttons, the lights and stuff like that, the audio and phone up there, and your suspension, sport mode, stuff like that. It's not that hard to figure out. But in terms of how easy this car is to drive, it's so easy. Now, one thing I wanna throw into this review that is kind of my own personal opinion, this is my favorite car. There is a few other cars out there like the Lamborghini Huracan, but honestly, an attainable car that is my dream car is this car. I absolutely love the GTS. I love the way it looks. I love the way it sounds. I love the way that it feels as it, as it drives. And I absolutely love this experience driving this car. It's absolutely phenomenal. Now Porsche said that the quoted zero to 60 time on this car is 5.1 seconds. Let's see how it does. There's 60. That was quick. That was very, very, very quick. Now let's talk about the fuel economy on the 2013 Porsche Cayenne GTS. Now in the city, you're gonna average about 15.6 liters per 100 kilometer, which isn't amazing, but if you compare it to something like the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT I reviewed a couple weeks ago, it's significantly better. And plus, I'd rather have this than the Jeep anyway. In terms of highway fuel economy, you're gonna average about 11 liters per 100 kilometer, which is pretty good considering you have a 4.8 liter V8 and 420 horsepower. I'll take that. 
Once again, guys, thanks very much for watching JNS Daily Drive. If you like the review on this 2013 Cayenne GTS, make sure to leave a like down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you can stay up to date to our videos. We'll see you next week. Also, big shout out to you, Jeffy. Thanks very much for loaning me the car.